May pressure kasi nagsistart yan when you expect things. When you expect things to happen, and uh, dun mo masyado binibase yung, alam mo yun, yung everyday life mo. Uh, expectations. So, when you expect something, kahit sa training mo, for example, you train a month, and after a month, you expect na sobrang, alam mo yung malaki na improvement mo, when you play, um, mapapansin mo, hindi pa ganun kalaki yung na-improve mo, masasaktan ko, nahihirapan ko. So, for me, just keep on going, and uh, expectations should be uh, way less hapang tumatagal. And understand that it's gonna take a very long time, a process. So, expectation na slowly dapat may pindihan mo. Take it away. And until day, yung pressure mo mawawala. And mas may enjoy mo yung ginagawa. But, may pressure ka ba? Huh? And one more thing, one more thing. When you want things to happen faster, pag mas gusto mo siya mangyari na mas mabilis, alam mo yun? Yung, yung, expect mo yung mga bagay-bagay. For example, you have a goal. Kung gusto mo, 3 months, 5 months, actually, yung goal na binibigay mo, yung timeline na binibigay mo sa sarili mo is, is too fast. And, uh, inisip mo kaya mo. Well, hindi ko sasabi hindi mo kaya, but, it's, it's gonna burn you out. It's gonna burn you out. Sasawa ka. Hindi mo may enjoy yung proseso. And for me, yung pinaka dahilan para maging consistent ka, yung matagal na panahon, kaya lang ka nag enjoy ka. So sometimes the goal that you put in, the timeline that you put in your life, it's not actually the time na talaga ma-achieve mo siya. And instead na maging, alam mo yun, maging successful ka talaga, ma-enjoy mo talaga, ano yung nangyayari? Yung timeline na nilalagay mo sa sarili mo will actually ruin the goal. O sisirain niya yung pangarap mo, sisirain niya yung, yung lahat ng gusto mong mangyari. Because you are pressured, you are stressed. Na dapat next year, bigyan to na ako. Kasi most probably when you expect something, it's because um, you want to please someone, maybe your parents, your friends, and kapag-